Hey Floss Tube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen and this is my fiber web where I talk about cross stitch. This is the beginning of part 10 of a special series I am doing this month, which is October of 2024, where I'm working on a different Halloween themed project every day of the month. I am using a tiny decisions wheel to choose which one to work on each day, and most of them have been new starts. Today's October 27th, so there are only a few days left in the month to spin for. And today I'm going to show you what I worked on yesterday, what I've done so far today, and we're going to spin the wheel for tomorrow. Um, I am a little bit tired today. It is a little bit later in the day than I usually film because my oldest son, Reed, performed in a uh, parade today in a marching band for his middle school. They did great. The weather was great. I got to see my brother and my nephews and one of my old friends. So um, it was a good day. It was nice to be outside, but um, my youngest son, Cole, was just like running through the crowds of people and I was following him, chasing him, carrying him. I'm tired. So this might be a little bit shorter than usual, but we'll see. So uh, yesterday's pick was Autumn by the Cross-Eyed Cricket. And I'm stitching this on a piece of 32 count Silver Fox by Fiber on a Whim. And here's how far I got. The bird is done. The cat still needs his nose and eyes finished up. The A is complete and I started on the U. I did also film a little reel for Instagram last night to show how I use the sewing method stitching in hand. So if you want to check that out, that is up. Um, I used that project to film that little, that little clip. That was fun. So today's pick was Baby Batweed by Noctiflora Designs. This is a freebie. And I was able to start and finish this this morning before the parade. So I have another finish for the month. Um, I think this is super adorable. I did it on a piece of 16 count black Ada with the called for DMC colors. And um, this is how big it is. It's little. I did want to say I originally had chosen this piece of green Ada that I got from Witch's Garden Crafts. Um, she just sends little samples with fabric orders, I think. Uh, so this is my original choice, and I think it would have worked fine because these greens are a bit darker, but I, when I pulled this out yesterday, I looked at it, and it was just looking like vintage Christmas ornament instead of Halloween to me. So I pulled out black to match the model, and I'm happy with my choice. It looks really good. Um, let me grab... I have another Noctiflora Designs little freebie. Let me grab that and show you. Okay, so this one is called baby horror fly and I stitched this last year but I finished it into a pillow this year so they're about the same size and they will be buddies and I'm gonna try to use this same green polka dot fabric for the back and then so I don't know what I'm gonna work on after this I am pretty tired though so maybe I'll just take the night off watch a movie maybe and not stitch anything we'll see I'll let you know tomorrow when we start and then full transparency, this is not the first time I've tried to film this clip, so I did already spin my wheel and I got Vintage Candy Buckets, which is a witchy stitcher pattern. Someone reached out to me recently asking where to find this and I looked on the website and couldn't find it. So I checked back and it was the Patreon pattern from the witchy stitcher in either October or November of 2022. So I don't know what her usual like cadence is for releasing things to Patreon and then to the public. I'm not sure why this one isn't available yet because it's been two years now. So if you still don't see it on the website, um, I'm not sure what to tell you. Maybe reach out and ask. Uh, but anyway, I picked this piece of 32 count murky. I picture this plus to put my vintage candy buckets on. The lighting is not the best right now to show fabric, but I'm excited. I have this full um, fat quarters so I'll find a good spot to fit those candy buckets and still have a bunch of this left over when I'm done and we'll come back tomorrow and let you know if I stitched on anything else I'm back it is Monday October 28th I ended up taking a break from stitching last night so I don't have anything to show you since yesterday's clip but I did get started on today's spin this morning which is this vintage Halloween candy buckets by the witchy stitcher 
So here's my start. This is the owl, and then I am going to do all three together, I think. Um, so I'll have a picture up of what this looks like. I don't want to block Bear. Here's Bear. He's snoozing. Hey, Bear. He's alive. Good boy. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just doing the black part of this so far. These are really tiny. I think the whole chart is like 114 by, I don't remember, 40 something? Maybe it's more wide. I think it's only the four, 40 some stitches tall, like 42 or 44. I'll put the dimensions on the screen because I didn't look. But yeah, it's smaller than I thought, so I should definitely be able to get the owl done today and then maybe get started on the next ones, or maybe I'll just work on all the 310 and see how far I can get outlining all three. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how this is looking so far. This is on 32 count murky, which I just told you, but yeah, big picture this plus. Um, okay, so let's spin for tomorrow. Since tomorrow is the 29th, that means when I spin tomorrow, that will be the last time, because there will only be two choices left. So we will know which one is the 30th and which one is the 31st. So that is exciting. Let's see what we get today. Assembly required. Okay, this is a whip um, by Ink Circles. Let me grab it for you. Okay, here is assembly required by Ink Circles, and here is how far I am. I started this over the summer, I think? I don't remember when I started it. I know I worked on it while we were on a trip for my son's travel baseball team. And I think I'm a little more than halfway down with this, so... It's possible that I could finish this tomorrow. I was kind of hoping to work on this a little bit more before October so that I could definitely get a finish, but it goes really fast. So, also, um, I made some mistakes on this. I don't know if there's a single chart that I haven't made a mistake on in my entire life, and I usually just go with it. This one is a little trickier because the pieces are supposed to line up, so I think my skull is going to stick up one row past everything else, but I don't really care. So I'm just working with it. I accidentally made, I don't remember where exactly the mistake is, but one of these one of these long bones over here is too short by one row, and then I counted off of that for a bunch of stuff, so everything is just compressed a little bit. He's a little bit shorter, this guy. That's what I've decided. So yeah, I think his skull will be a little bit, it'll be one row above, but I'll just mirror what I did on this side over here. And this floss is really cool. This is a DMC variegated floss. It is the called for floss for this, and I love how it totally looks like some dirty old bones. Um, I would tell you what the color is, but I don't have the right page facing out. And then I'm doing this on chalkboard linen. I think it's 32 count. Um, left over from my poisonous plants, which is up here. That's my poisonous plants by the witchy stitcher. Okay, I will end with this and show you how far I get when I come back tomorrow. Happy Taco Tuesday. Today is October 29th, and here's how far I got on Vintage Halloween Candy Buckets by The Witchy Stitcher. Um, I decided to stick with the 310, so the owl bucket is completely... The 310 is done, and then I started this middle bucket... Um, so next time I pick this up, I can either fill in the owl and get that one done, or keep going with black. We will see. This is on 32 count murky by Picture This Plus. And today's pick was Assembly Required by Ink Circles. I have been working on this this morning. I got I got a bit of progress. I got the skull done, and this femur is new, and I don't know what that is, but it's new, and this little guy. So, this goes really fast since it's all one color, and it's not that big. Um, 
I did grab the color so I can tell you what it is. It is DMC 4072, and I have it on this floss drop that I think I got from Wicked Cat Stitch. It's the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm going to keep on working on this today, and I'm going to try to get it done, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, and I also wanted to show you, yesterday in the mail, I got my first Jasmine Custom Bags bag. And the print is Vintage Halloween. And I thought it was perfect for this project. And also my um, Enox Paper Moon might also live in here since it fits the vibe. But yeah, this is my first bag from Jen. It's got this... Um, orange and black and white plaid on the inside and I love it I'm very excited to use this uh, I still don't have enough Halloween bags for all of these projects that I've started but that's okay um, okay so today is our last spin for October because there are only two things left so whatever I spin will be tomorrow's project and the last one will be what I work on on Halloween um, so the two options that are remaining are Cranky Owl which is by Modern Folk Embroidery and Jack's Bash by Plum Street Samplers. So let's see what we get for tomorrow. Cranky Owl! I, I was really excited about the idea that Jack's Bash might be the one that I get on Halloween. I don't know, it just seems perfect. So tomorrow I will do Cranky Owl. Um, I already grabbed what's left. You can see this cubby right here is empty mostly now. I mean, there's some books and papers in there, but that's where all my Halloween project bags were, and it's empty. So I'm going to do Cranky Owl on this, um, whatever you call this, Fiddler's Cloth, or there's another name that people call this. Uh, yeah, I think he will be good. I'll have put up a picture, hopefully, of what Cranky Owl looks like. Um, that's from Jacob's Dark Crosses collection. Very excited to start that. I have several other Dark Crosses charts that I haven't started yet. So once I get this one done, maybe I'll start another one of those. And then, sorry, I didn't unzip this. But Jack's Bash is a whip that I, I started, I don't know when, earlier this year, I think. Here's what it looks like. Um... There's the chart, and here is how much I have done already. So I worked on this on Friday the 13th last month. Um, I think this house, there's a little word here, um, this housey building thing I think is done, and I was working on the letters maybe, and I added this flower last time, so we'll see what I do this time. Um, this way? This way. I don't really have a plan yet, except maybe I'll put in the, um, just some more of those letters, or take that border that goes around the alphabet across, or down. I don't know. We'll see what I feel like tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Halloween. We'll see what I feel like on Thursday. Um, okay, so this is the last clip for this video. Oh, I need to draw a winner for Halloween Tiny Town. I will insert that clip here because I forgot to do that before. Okay, I just drew the winner for Halloween Tiny Town by Heart and Hand. There were 43 entries for this giveaway and the winner is Stitching in Texas. I will put your comment up on the screen. Congratulations, and if you could find me on Instagram or email me, my, my Gmail address is in the description box below. Let me know your mailing address. I will get this in the mail to you. Thank you so much to everyone who entered. The winners for the other giveaways that I have done, have co they have both contacted me super quick, so those are taken care of. Um, what else do I have for you? The next video that I'm planning on doing um, is going to be a long form recap of finishes, whips, and starts from October, and then also my plans for November. So I am going to try right now to plan, no, to film the plans <laughs> section of that video and um, I will insert it. So 
I'm going to film it today, but it won't come out yet. It will be part of my wrap-up video, which I will hopefully film November 1st. Um, we'll see. So, next time I see you will be when you see how how far I get on Assembly Required, Jack's Bash, and The Cranky Owl. And I will probably also post on Instagram if you want to check there. Um, so, thank you so much for joining me on this crazy Halloween start-a-thon. Um, my plan is for next year in October, I'm going to keep my calendar and I'm going to work on the, the whips on the same day of October as I did this year. And so the ones where I finish the project by next October, they will be opportunities for new starts if I want to start new, uh, new Halloween projects or um, depending on how I feel next year, maybe I'll put a different, I'll just work on whips. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to hang on to that calendar with the intent of using it for next October as well. Um, I have had tons of fun. It seems like a lot of you have enjoyed following along with this. Um, and a spoiler for my plans video for November, I am going to try to keep the wheel around, but I am not going to be working on a different project every single day of November, hopefully. <laughs> um, I have a little bit smaller scope of things to work on next month. Um, so yes, again, thank you so much for being here and watching and commenting and engaging and um, hopefully you saw some projects that you liked that you e either already stitched or that you want to stitch um, and happy Halloween okay